overnight, a big decision by the Miami-Dade County Commission. The commissioners voting to double their compensation to more than $130,000 a year. Local 10's Trent Kelly live this morning with more from this late night meeting. Trent. Yeah, Eric and Alexis, this was a marathon meeting last night, ultimately coming to an end just after one in the morning. Commissioners, as you mentioned, did end up approving their new budget for the next fiscal year, a budget that includes a big raise in overall commissioner compensation. But while that measure passed, uh, very early this morning, another more controversial measure, setting up a new county ambassador program, did not. So I have another motion. A Miami-Dade Commission meeting lasting well into the early morning hours before ending with a vote on whether to raise commissioner compensation. Is Chairman Gilbert? Yes. Chairman Diaz? Yes. Motion passes 7 to 5. After hours of debate, that measure ultimately passed just after 1 a.m. on a narrow 7 to 5 vote. I heard you guys are going to increase your salaries when one of the commissioners was just suspended. Are we going to give him money? The meeting beginning with some commissioners making the case as to why the raises were necessary. The salary for, for county commissioners is $6,000. I, I need to say that clearly. It's $6,000. While commissioners currently make a base salary of $6,000, documents show additional allowances and compensation bring that amount up to about $55,000 per year. I have been seated in this table for 21 years. The commissioners who sit in this table deserve a better salary because the amount of hours that they have to dedicate to the commission, to the meetings, is incredible. The proposed county pay plan buried on page 481 of a 750 page document more than doubles current commissioner benefits to roughly $130,000. We are being transparent in our discussion today, but this was not introduced in a transparent pa fashion and that makes me quite upset. Another contentious topic was a proposed ambassador program that would have paid retired commissioners up to $25,000 a year to take part in county events, despite a modified, more limited plan proposed by Commissioner Oliver Gilbert. That measure still failed on a five to seven vote. So again, while that ambassador vote failed, the other measure raising commissioner compensation did pass, albeit on a very narrow seven to five vote. This means that those new compensation and this new budget will now take effect at the start of the next fiscal year coming up on October the 1st. For now, that is the latest live from downtown Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.